Hello, and welcome back to Custom City Global. In today's video, we will be showcasing our ABI menu. To do this, you will log into your account and scroll to the ABI summary menu on the top left corner of our site. Once you are here, you will be able to see all of the entries that are currently in your account or create a new one from the start. First off, this will be your general dashboard. You can see entries listed here by the master bill of lading number or by the current status that the transaction has. Here on the top, you can see a general count of all of those entries. As you can see, we have two that are still currently listed as drafts, two that have been rejected, and five that have already been accepted. Same down here. We can see both drafts. We can see both of the entries that have been rejected, and then one, two, three, four of the accepted entries. Now, where is that fifth one gone? If we look closely, this master bill of lading includes two entry numbers, one that has been accepted and one that has been rejected. We will display the most current status of each entry in case there is further action to be taken. Now let's go into one of these transactions. This will be the second layer of information where, as you can see, we are now within this entry number. We will be able to verify its status, last events, and a series of information such as the entry type, the user that created this entry, IOR numbers, creation and submission dates. If we dive deeper into the last events, we will be able to see all of the messages that have been either sent or received for this specific entry. Users will be able to see whether a message was sent or received. We can also go directly into the entry that we have created to view all of the specific details, such as the importer of record, consignment tax ID, and the general entry details. As we go through these tabs here, we will also be able to check on details pertaining manufacturers, growers, the manifest itself, add a new manifest if it is something that we desire, parties, the invoice, and PGA census or EIS information. Of course, this is for an already created entry. Now, if we go back to our summary, we can also create one from the start, as I mentioned before, by just clicking our create button. Once we are here, as we saw before, we will start entering all of the information for our entry by navigating through these tabs. And once we have that information, clicking save before it will appear as a draft in our general dashboard. Once we have the draft here, we will select it send it off and reach the final step of the entry. Thank you very much and be sure to book a personalized, personalized demo in our website.